What's up, my sad stars? Let's talk about stratified random sampling. All right, first, what is it? Basically, first thing you do is you break your population to homogeneous groups, which means in each group, they all have something in common, hence homogeneous. Then you select a simple random sample from each group. You, know, you don't even have to take the same amount from each group, you just have to take some from each group. But let's really talk about why, why we stratify. Well, the whole point of sampling is to get a sample that best represents your population. And if you are doing, let's say you're trying to get information on, you want to find the average height of your high school students at your school. Well, if you do a simple random sample, you might get all seniors and then all of a sudden the average height of your sample is way far away from the true average height of the entire population. So if we say, well, listen, we want to make sure we get freshmen, sophomores, juniors, seniors, then you're going to stratify. There are your four homogeneous groups, freshmen, sophomores, juniors, seniors. Take a random sample from each of those groups. What this is going to do is it's going to reduce the variability to what it is you're measuring. Because we are getting a much more representative sample, the average height of our sample is going to be much closer to the true average height of the population, hence reducing that variation. Again, the variation I'm speaking about is the variation between the true population parameter, the true average height of all the students, and the sample average, the sample or you know the, the mean from just your sample. And we want those two values to be as close as possible. And when you have a really nice representative sample, you're going to get the reduce of the, the reduction of the variation and those two values, the true population parameter and the sample statistics are going to be really, really close together and that's what you want. Now the other important thing you want to think about when you're stratifying is what variable do I stratify on? You want to make sure you're choosing a variable that matters to what it is you're asking. In the previous example, it made sense that older kids are going to be taller, freshmen are going to be shorter, so it made sense that I wanted to get some kids from every single grade level because that variable matters when it comes to measuring height. If I'm measuring height, I don't think I would stratify by hair color, choosing some kids with brown hair, blonde hair, black hair, red hair, well because hair color doesn't matter to what it is I'm measuring. So always make sure you're really thinking about what variables matter to what it is you're measuring and those are the variables that you want to stratify on.